ended up to be the producer of Glenn Campbell. Next to him is a guitar player by the name of Billy Pittman. Next to him is Tommy Tedesco. Then I think, I'm not positive, but I, I think that could be Russ Titleman at the other guitar. The guy in the center is Roy Caton, who was a trumpet player, but he also was the copyist that everybody used to use. The guy in the middle behind the drums is Hal Blaine. Behind Hal Blaine is Steve Douglas, great saxophone player, and next to him is another great sax, Jay Migliori. And on the right-hand side, in the, in the sunglasses, is Ray Pullman. Marvelous bass player and an incredible guitar player. And this is uh, the, the basic of, of the record group. And uh, we were the guys that did help me around. What can I tell you? Pretty amazing that it lasted that long through, through the 60s. One song after another. One week, I did 26 different recording sessions. And, and uh, <laughs> what can I say? I, I, I also arranged four of those in the middle of that week. And it was, it was impossible. Unbelievable to do, but we did it, and that's the way it was. We, we were so lucky to work with the greatest arrangers, the greatest artists, and the greatest songwriters. The, we, the, the music was a pleasure to play. A lot of the guys didn't care for the rock and roll part of it a lot of times, but I loved it. I, I, just to hear, hear you play on your song, even if it was just a simple little part, you know, that's me that played that, and I hear it on the radio, and I was very proud of that the whole time. We all were, really, especially today. It's even, it's even more powerful. And Denny Tedesco, Tommy Tedesco's son, took 19 years of his life to produce this film and direct this film, and that's called tenacity. And all the people that worked with them, some of them are here today, they, they, they spent so much time and they knew that eventually this was going to be a wonderful project. And it turned out to be, just for me, being on tour, going all over the, the United States, playing this film and doing Q&A afterwards, I remember a man in Indianapolis, at the museum in Indianapolis, must have been about six foot seven in bib overalls. And he came up with his little wife with tears in his eyes. And he said to Denny and to me, he took our hands and held them. And he said, thank you for helping me live, relive the best part of my life. Mm -hmm. And what, what better thing could that, it makes everything worthwhile because that music meant so much to him. And it was the music of everybody's lives through the 60s, 70s, and to, to, till to today. Gary, please come with Marty. These are our Beach Boys.